is a perfect pet snake and it's inside this box. It's affordable, it's intelligent, and it's from Africa. Of course, I'm talking about the Mozambique Spitting Cobra. Wait, sorry. Oh, that's for my bus prank video. <laughs> if you want a ball python, you should just get one. I had one for a while, his name is Mr. Leg, and he was awesome. But today I wanna to offer you an alternative. Today we've got an enclosure build for my all-time favorite snake. We've got an unboxing of Penelope's skinny new boyfriend. Today is a very big day. I'm out of breath. You see, there's a really good reason why I never recommend ball pythons for a first snake, and you need to look no further than my Instagram DMs. See, I typically get two kinds of messages. One is usually from 30-year-old European men, and the message contains a blurry skin-colored photo that I'm terrified to open. And the other is usually along the lines of, hey man, my ball python hasn't eaten in a year. Can you help me out? Well, it turns out it's really hard to simulate Africa in a cold New England bedroom. <laughs> Look at that stupid cop car. Heading to the plant store because I'm giving my all-time favorite snake, Penelope, a massive upgrade. I want to remind you that this is an opinion video and much like apples, everybody's got one and mine's been very, very active today. All right, the floor is yours. Do you have anything you'd like to say? It really doesn't get much better than this, folks. I'd like you to meet Penelope. She's a KZN T-negative albino African house snake. And in my opinion, these make a perfect first snake. We're going to put her on this milk carton for a bit while we design her honeymoon suite. Step bro. Can you see my plumber's crack? This is gonna sound crazy, but I can feel that my toenail just fell off inside my shoe. How you doing? Economy's getting very stimulated today. Little pro tip, you can put all these purchases on a credit card, and then when the number gets high enough, you can sandpaper off your fingertips and then go off the grid. Yay. One of the best parts about African house snakes is that they thrive at a humidity similar to where humans do, right in the middle. So that's like 40 to 60%. This means you don't need to be constantly misting or worrying about respiratory infections. About to find out if my landlord turned the water back on. Son of a bitch. All these plants will do pretty well in those conditions. I plan on watering them probably once a week. Are you thirsty? Oh my God, that was way more than I was expecting. Temperature is really straightforward as well and it's much cooler than a ball python. The cool end is in the low to mid 70s, which is right around where most people keep their homes. The hot end calls for something in the mid 80s, but it's nothing ridiculous. It's less this Africa, more this Africa. Oh, this is way too big. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. There's a big fly in here. Nurse! So we really want a human hide. This is ultimately where she's gonna lay her eggs. That's nice though. Sick. All right, I need a pot. If this isn't your first time here, you already know it's coming. I don't want this to break too bad. Okay, that's good. if I do it with substrate in it, it won't break as bad. I'll go from lower down. Oh, there we go. I think it's like a little jade tree that's not doing so well. Typically gonna be just like tons of random broken pots and abandoned plants. So she can feel very secure inside of there. Freaking sticking out of there. I just want it to look like random crap everywhere. Maybe my favorite part about African house snakes is that they're super smart. This is good and bad. They're really fun to interact with. They hold on really well, but they're also really, really good at getting out of enclosures. So seal up those cracks because if they exist, they will find them. If they can get their head through, they can get the rest of their body through. I will give ball pythons some credit. There are literally thousands of morphs and the same is just not true for African house snakes, but there are some. We've got albinos, which is Penelope. We've got normals. We even got butters. Those are so beautiful. It's one of my, one of my dreams. But what makes African house snakes so cool is if you want a different flavor, you want a different personality, color, look, you just have to expand your search out to some of the different species. Excuse me, ma'am, can I have you on my podcast, please? I promise it's more than three dudes sitting on a couch. Please, I'm begging you, please. This is Boyd and Lineatus. They're a little bit warmer, a little bit drier, but man, they are so freaking tiny. Again, I probably wouldn't hand these to children. You know what I mean? They're pretty small, but if you want something a little bit beefier, of course, you'd go with our original Boyd and Capensis. And that brings us to our unboxing. <gasps> Inside this box is Penelope's new skinny little boyfriend. This is from April at HowSnakeMorphs.com. I love the little notes you leave. It's so sweet. And this beautiful man, <coughs> sorry, handsome man right here is a KZN hat T negative albino African house snake, meaning he carries the genes for albinism, but doesn't show them. But when I pair him with Penelope, that means half the babies will be albino, half are gonna be normal like him. How exciting, interracial couple. This man needs a name, by the way. Pretty soon we're gonna pair these guys up in their honeymoon suite. So stay tuned, fingers crossed for some babies. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.